terrifying moments right outside of the shops at the Legacy in Plano. A teen girl gets away from an attempted trafficker. CBS 11's J.D. Miles tells us what you should do if you ever see anything like this. It was right here in the middle of Plano shops at Legacy where a 17 year old girl escaped from a violent human trafficker she had been with for a year. If not for some observant witnesses watching nearby and intervening, authorities say it's likely she would still be in his clutches. It's security camera video of two people talking outside a nail salon in Plano's shops at Legacy. You probably wouldn't pay much attention to them until the male stomps hard on the female's foot. It's followed by a violent punch that knocks her to the ground. I feel sick to my stomach. And for all of us who have daughters, uh, it's just, uh, it's just the most unthinkable situation you can imagine. Collin County District Attorney Greg Willis says you're watching the brutal violence associated with human trafficking play out in public. A passerby notices the man dragging the 17-year-old girl by her hair to the car. Throw her into the open passenger side door and close it. She quickly opens it and escapes. By that time, several witnesses were ready to intervene, and the man speeds off by himself. I'm so proud of those citizens that were there and didn't run away and didn't, didn't turn a blind eye. 29-year-old Ricky Stevenson was later captured and sentenced last week to 59 years in prison. Willis says that's a message to traffickers like this one, who flaunt being a pimp on social media, force their victims to get loyalty tattoos, as well as threaten them if they try to leave. He thought that he can manipulate the legal system here in Collin County by ensuring that the victim not show up. He thought if the victim didn't show up, he would be free. The victim was only 16 when she was kidnapped and forced into prostitution along with two other females. This Collin County case is the first known anywhere involving a trafficker who was convicted only with the testimony from witnesses and no cooperation from the victim. When you're asked to testify, um, you are basically opening yourself up to being re-traumatized, what we say re-victimized. Chelsea Robertson with Poetic, a nonprofit that offers schooling and resources for sex trafficking victims, says they often refuse to testify against their abusers. That's why she says it's so important for witnesses to come forward and help build strong criminal cases like this one. Anytime that you see a youth especially, um, intervening would always be like the, the correct action to take. You've heard it said before, if you see something, say something. And this postscript on the victim, we are told she has moved out of state and is no longer in contact with authorities. In Plano tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. True and international effort to pressure. What kind of country are we going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find our... Thank you.